Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I'm going to show you how to do a really cool occluded or objects that hide behind walls and to be able to show those, whether you use them for a cool effect, for searching for assets that might be hidden. And this will be solely in URP with a few render features and it's really awesome and quick to do. And I'll show you today. Okay, so to start off, I've got two objects here. This could be any object. It could just be some cubes if you really wanted. What we need to do is create layers for these to be on so they'll be occluded if they're on a particular layer. So I'm just going to make sure I go to the top corner if I've got an object selected and choose to add layer. And I'm just going to call it loot. And that's what it'll be. You could name it enemy, anything you want. I'll select my two objects and I'm going to make sure that I set those objects to that layer. And I'm going to say yes to change all the children if each of these have children because we want to affect every single 3D object that it has. Now I've created a new material by right clicking create and choosing material. And I've just called this red occluded. I've got it as the normal universal render pipeline lit material with a transparent surface type. And I've just made it red and pulled the alpha down. So it's a slightly see through material. Now from there, we want to go to your URP renderer. So in this case, the default scene uses the high fidelity renderer. And then we want to add a new render feature and we want to add a render objects, which is the experimental feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the occluded render object, just so that we know when it, if it's collapsed, we know what that is. We can render after opaques and we want to set the layer mask to loot or whatever it is that the thing we want to mask. We want to make sure that we open up the overrides and we want to add depth. And then we want to make sure that we untick the right depth and you make that the depth test should be greater than. So now you can already start to see these through walls because it just renders it above other objects. You can add your own material here so we can just add red occluded in this case. And then as you can see in my, in my scene, even when we're in front of it, we always actually see the occludedness. Now we need to be able to create something. So when we're near it or not behind something, it's not occluded anymore. So we want to add another render object and we just call this one not occluded. Then we can do the same thing, but in the filters, we want to make sure that we add loot again as the filter and we don't need any overrides at all. And then you can test out when you start your game, you can see that the object is occluded, but you can also see it through that wall with the material. And you can also see any other objects that you tag that's through the wall too. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and you can use it to create some cool things in your games. Do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with massive savings on my website. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Barakas, Walter Dunson, Rene Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Curry for Life Gaming, Austin Certain, Jean Quaid, Duan Cooper, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Vacon, Andre Ferreira, Larry Antu, Dylan C, Liam Gray, Woblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, Cal Frederick, Shibi Marion, Darko Penniger, Asep Gunawan, Tozy Guy Fury, and Tamer Ire. And thank you for watching the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.